So we're going to we're going to go as we always do. We're going to go into the prophetic. Amanda has a prophetic word. Uh, we're going to try to share as much as we possibly can. Um, yes. There is a lot going on. I think we we t we titled this. It's going to be an explosive February. Yes. <laughs> explosive. I think that's a perfect title. Whew. Explosive. All right. Did you see the drama? Did you hear Amanda's answer? She said, I think that's the perfect title. This gentleman is announcing, here comes the prophetess. We're going to get into her prophecy, he says, prophetic word. And she says, perfect title. So February is going to be an explosive month. It, it is. <laughs> it is. It's setting up to be a very explosive month. To the, to the weekend. I, we, we need that. We need to... Even though the, uh, February is going to be explosive, we got to continue to remember. Well, welcome, everybody. Today is March 1st. February is over. Question, <laughs> was February explosive? Answer, not even close. Uh, further description, unequivocally ridiculous, not even close. Conclusion, fraud, absolutely. Uh, conclusion over here, enabler, right? Propping up a false prophetess. You saw the drama, Rewatch the clips three different times in the span of a two hour video. Um, this title, uh, welcoming you into the prophetic word uh, and, and absolutely descriptive of what Amanda uh, tried to prophesy, but Clearly, we see that, again, she has failed. I know there's going to be many that will say, well, this wasn't the prophecy. Oh, yes, yes, it was. She titled it this. You saw the drama. You're just denying because this is your rock star. And it's, there's no words to describe how sad all of this is. But there's no doubt that Amanda Grace is in full rebellion against the living God and that she is not hearing from God but in fact, more than likely a familiar spirit or spirits uh, who are deceiving her, uh, but she refuses to stop because she's making a ton of money. You know, when you watch an Amanda Grace video, I truly believe you are not tuning in because you really expect to hear the word of God being spoken to this woman. You're tuning in uh, to an experience. This woman is a rock star propped up by over a hundred thousand people and growing. Um, and if you've ever watched an Amanda Gray's video or live stream, you're getting the maximum dopamine rush experience. Hundreds of thousands of blind followers tuned in with tingles and goosebumps, wide-eyed with heart palpitations, flushed with anticipation as to you know, what will my prophetess speak today? They actually think they're listening to the living God speak through this woman while she utters unverifiable nonsense about political imaginations, personal fantasies about Trump getting put back into the White House via cleverly plotted and behind-the-scenes plans orchestrated by the Almighty, or so she says. It is, again rebellion against the living God. Uh, the other part of that is if you watch any of these chats, uh, you will watch the moderators as little dictators and little henchmen. Uh, look over here. Here's one named Lisa Ramos. Look, she's got the wrench. She's a moderator. You can't make this up. Look what she says here. God is speaking. Listen. See, first of all, if you can get past the blasphemy, uh, and if you think, no, no, Drew, what she's saying is that God is speaking through him. No, no, I disagree. These followers prop her up even to a position higher than that of Jesus Christ. Oh, that's pretty rude, Drew. What makes you say, well, they will defend her, and you'll see in the comments, they'll defend her much more vehemently than that of God. They don't defend God. They defend their false prophets. But look what she says. God is speaking. Listen, she's annoyed that people are talking, you know, that 
People are saying things like, praise the Lord, amen, hallelujah. They're saying, thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Uh, and again, if you watch two of these, the moderators are incredible. They, they think that you should stop speaking in what's termed as a chat room, you know, where people chat. They want you to stop talking and listen to this false prophetess. You can't make this up. Look look at the absolute blind reverence for somebody who's never prophesied anything that couldn't be, you know, concluded as a 50-50 chance or vague. Uh, it is utterly ridiculous. It, it, yes, this is really happening. This is reality. Now, again, with Amanda, when you watch these videos, it's always the same. Amanda begins these videos, you know, she'll talk a little bit, and then right on cue, she will... Put on the prayer shawl, this pretty good act. It lets the listener know, whoops, I'm about to deliver the word of the Lord, which she's not. But it looks good because do you, do you know why? This is all acting. This is all performance. This is a show. And how do you know that it's acting and it's not true? Well, she's falsely prophesied so much. You know, uh, for the God that I serve, uh, who is perfect, he never misses. She misses all day long, every day. But she'll testify, look, hey everybody, I, I'm your suffering prophetess. Although she, she tries to use the trick, you know, I'm not a prophet, I'm just a woman of God, but here's a bunch of prophecy, and that's in fact what she's known for. But she thinks that by not labeling herself as a prophet, that somehow that excuses her actual false prophecy. But it's always the same. She'll testify of herself. So there's constant testifying of herself. I was awakened at 2, 2 a.m. by God. And he's really something. You know, he, he wakes me up. And boy, you know, and when God wakes you up, oh, you better get up. It's God, you know. And I'm God's right-hand prophetess. And, and, and I was in prayer. You can almost hear the violins in the back. I was in prayer for three, four 500 hours, I was without sleep and in the Lord. It sounds so holy, and I find that so ridiculous. And again, this is why she's in full rebellion. She's using the name of God as though she was in prayer before the living God who delivered to her words that fell to the floor. So what does that mean? Well, Amanda, maybe you should consider that you're not hearing from the living God, but in fact, a familiar spirit. And this familiar spirit is mocking you because he's using you as a pawn to absolutely destroy the faith of 100, 200, 300,000, millions of people, millions of brainwashed followers who actually believe your, you know, God is speaking through you. But it's the self-testimony, testifying of thyself. Look what I had to do to bring you this word of the Lord. I labored with sleepless suffering in order to bring you your new dose of social media dopamine. And then it's usually followed by, you know, again, the donning of the shawl. Um, and it's very dramatic. You know, it works. You know, the prayer shawl, it doesn't cover the head, but covers the shoulders. I guess that's good enough. And, you know, maybe you're worried that it might get caught in your hoop earrings. I don't know. But uh, here we go, and the performance starts, and here comes the meat and the potatoes, and uh, then you begin to hear the dramatic words of the Lord, allegedly, and then, of course, she's always going to throw in all kinds of tingly teaser scraps of tingles and what-ifs, and she says ridiculous things like, keep your eyes on North Africa. The Lord says, keep your eyes on North Africa. What does that mean? Keep your eyes on North Africa. Do you, do you have any idea what, or I should say, how effective this trick is? Do you know that in North Africa there is no less than 30 countries that you could count? You understand the broad spectrum when she says, for example, keep your eyes on North Africa and there's no time put on that, how that anything that happens in North Africa from here on out you know, something like a flood or a crisis, terrorist attack, within the, again, the span of 30 countries, 
anything that happens in any amount of time is going to fall into, oh, it's, remember Amanda prophesied that, ring the bell, ring the prophecy bell, uh, prophecy fulfilled. This is the kind of stuff that, you see, she has so many, and you can catalog this, so many uh, prophecies of, watch this country, watch, the Lord says, watch France, the Lord says, watch California, the Lord says, watch Alaska, the Lord says, watch the Indian Ocean, the Lord says, watch Australia. She's done it all. Everything is being watched according to the Lord, uh, at least from what she's uttered. So that anything that happens, it's going to be, oh, look, Amanda's a prophet. She successfully prophesied something. It wasn't specific, and there was no time given, but success, what an absolute tactic. And, and, and sadly, the followers eat it up and they believe it. Do you think this is real? Do you think that the living God is actually speaking to this woman and, and more importantly that he would give her words that didn't come true? What does it take to wake you up? I often think of the Old Testament prophets, you know, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel. If somehow they were afforded a glimpse at this, what's happening here. You know, a woman on video wearing makeup, hoop earrings, leopard print scarves and leather jackets coming forth to hundreds of thousands, millions of people and giving these fake words from the Lord, they would be absolutely horrified. And they'd find out, of course, that she's doing it for money. In, in no, there'd be no doubt that they would tell you that this woman is in full rebellion and has no fear of the living God for the folly that she's wrought and for the millions of Christians whose faith she has stolen and made shipwreck. Because again, that's what you don't see. Of the hundreds and thousands of blind followers who choose to worship their rock star prophetess, uh, there are hundreds of thousands who are walking away from God because they see when her prophecies don't come to pass. Well, they, in their own minds, they feel foolish. And they have been shown by this woman that God doesn't exist, at least in their minds. Because they came to Christ, and then they saw a video like this, and it didn't happen. And then they said within themselves, oh, oh my goodness, what are they, whoops, sorry about that. Here's a, this is monetized, so here's a commercial. Um, very nice, huh? Let's let this play. This is the world of a false prophet. This is a commercial which popped up on Amanda's video. Look at that person sitting on the toilet. Isn't that nice? Uh, show Jeremiah that. <laughs> You'd have to explain to Jeremiah what monetization is, that she's making money off of uh, these videos. And again, he would be astounded again. But yeah, the faith of many have, made, have been made shipwrecked because of this nonsense. Uh, and people see this and they quietly walk away from God because of what she's done and continues to do. It is heartbreaking. Please remember those uh, who have walked away from Christ because of her and keep these people in, uh, in prayer that they would come back to Christ and not come back to the Brooklyn medium here. So we're going to we're going to go as we always do. We're going to go into the prophetic. Amanda has a prophetic word. Uh, we're going to try to share as much as we possibly can. Um, yes. There is a lot going on. I think we we t we titled this. It's going to be an explosive February. Yes. <laughs> explosive. I think that's a perfect title. Oof. Explosive. Oof. Explosive. Right. Yes. <laughs> Explosive. I think that's a perfect title. Oof. So February is going to be an explosive month. It, it is. <laughs> it is. It's setting up to be a very explosive month. It, it is. <laughs> it is. It All right. So again, I ask you, was February explosive? And unequivocally, the answer is no. And again, not even close. Amanda was dead wrong. Uh, this is absolute mockery. But I'll show you the, the real reason why she continues to do this. Um, it's right here. It's all about money. 
right down here in the description, product placement. Amanda sells products. Uh, over here, uh, Amanda would more than like, she left a link, hey, hit me on my PayPal. Donate uh, money for doing what? She has an animal sanctuary, some 20 animals, a lot of them are birds, but apparently she needs hundreds of thousands of dollars to feed those animals. Uh, if you don't want to go to PayPal, hit her on the Patreon. Uh, I documented in one of my previous videos that she was making no less than $10,000 a month just on Patreon. Ridiculous. Look, oh, don't have that. Hey, do you have uh, Cash App? She takes that. No, you can't do the, uh, the PayPal. You can't do the Patreon. Well, that's okay. Mail in your paper check. And just make sure uh, that you get that into the right address. Uh, so there's, uh, you know, and of course that doesn't include what she makes on Super Chat when you can donate right in the midst of a live stream. If you want to see something interesting, or if you think that I'm being mean, watch one of her, watch her next live stream. Watch the donations. I've documented where on many she's made over $1,000 in an hour. It's crazy. And again, put this into perspective making all this money for falsely prophesying. That's the whole astonishing thing. Try to think this through. Was February explosive? No. She mocks God. There, there's no argument here. You think I'm being mean? No. I'm standing in the truth of Jesus Christ. Now I'll close this up with Matthew 24. Because you were warned, right? You were warned. You scroll down to verse 24. What Jesus says, For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. See, the elect, those who love Jesus Christ in truth and sincerity, they're not fooled by this utter nonsense. They're not, because they've made the choice to stand in the truth of Jesus Christ. There is so much evidence that it, it makes one wonder as to what it takes for somebody who proclaims to love Jesus Christ to reject uh, these false prophets. So you'll have no excuse on Judgment Day. You'll have no excuse. But if you are listening and you follow one of these false prophets, I implore you, please come away. Come back to the truth of Jesus Christ. It's found in Holy Scripture, not on a lunatic who says they're being woken up at 2 in the morning and bringing forth words that fall flat to the floor.